Hey, I'm Mark Edward Lewis, and welcome to Cinema Sound. Today, we're going to be talking about the routing or routing tab of the Mark of the Unicorn 1248 discovery application, which is what you use to access all the cool stuff in this incredible interface. So here's a Adobe Audition, which we're very familiar with. I'm going to go up here to the discovery app, which if you've installed it correctly, should be in your file bar, file menu. Here's the 1248 that is installed. This will also show you all of the interfaces that you have in your system. We click, and what's cool is it brings up a straight old browser window, and you can use this program in your iPad, your iPhone, they have apps, and control it, your audio interface remotely, which is so cool. This right here is the devices window, which we talk about in a different tutorial. Here's the routing tab. This is daunting to look at, right? I mean, there's a whole bunch of stuff in this matrix, and that just kind of gives you a feel for how incredibly expanding and uh, the possibilities are almost endless with this audio interface. So let me just break it down for you. Across the top, we have all of the inputs for the 1248, and down the side, we have all the outputs. And whatever you click here, it will change the outputs to tell you, hey, what, what's coming to this channel? So, for example, right now, the phone's left or phone's one channel output, in other words, the leftmost headphone physical output is coming from computer channel one. And then phones two or the right channel is coming from computer channel two. Now, you can see up here this little light's flashing every time I talk. And that's because I have this handy dandy little microphone right here, this uh, NTG one from Rode that happens to be plugged into the XLR input mic 4 on the back of the unit. So it's moving uh, as I talk, you see it going. Across here, we have the guitar inputs. We have all the quarter-inch analog inputs, the SPDIF digital, all the ADAT inputs, and then computer inputs as well, what you're going to be sending uh, to the computer, or what's coming from the computer, rather. Sorry, what's coming from the computer. The outputs, however, are the opposite. This is what we're sending to the headphones, this headphones, there's two jacks, what's coming out of the main output jacks, the monitor jacks, and then here what's coming out of the physical outputs. You'll notice I've changed these labels to coincide with my surround speakers, left, right, center, LFE, LSRS, and then here's what I have for my headphone outputs to the studio, seven and eight on analog seven and eight. We talk about what all these mean in a different tutorial where we talk about the devices tab. Well, I mean, what's all this for? This is a lot of stuff. Do we really have to deal with this? Well, you don't. The presets that come with the uh, div the Discovery app are pretty usual. I mean, pretty pretty nominal things that you're going to want to use. But take, for example, what if you wanted to have two different headphones mixes? Let's say you're in a really small studio and you want to have your speakers off while recording voiceover or ADR, because those would get in the recording. And the person and the talent who's recording is just in a small booth or maybe just in a, a different room. And if you'd had your speakers on, obviously the microphone in that room will hear the speakers while they're recording and you might get feedback. So we're all going to be on headphones. But I want to send a different headphone mix to the talent who may want to hear beeps and clicks and a different kind of mix than I want to hear in here where I want to listen to the talent very loud uh, compared to the rest, which would that might disturb them and cause them not to be able to make a good performance. Well, here's what we do. You can see here, outputs, I have output one and two, left and right of headphones one, output one to, or uh, left and right of headphones two. This is it's a little confusing, but just understand that one and two really refers to phones left and right. Three and four is phones left and right for headphone two. <laughs> just, I know, just go with me on this. As my French teacher always used to tell me, accepte. From there, we could say computer one and two, channels one and two. So if you're in Adobe Audition, let's flip back to Audition here for a second, that would be these guys right here. Multiple destinations means it'll go to channel one and two in stereo. Cool. And in fact, in this case, I happen to have the output, the master output, going there, one and two. No problem. And if I hit play, You can see that it's working and it's going here. And I'm actually hearing it in these headphones because this is what I'm plugged into. No problem. But what if I wanted to send a different mix to the talent? Where would I do that? Well, here's, let's say we wanted to plug their headphones into the second headphone output. What if I put their output instead of on one and two, on seven and eight? 
What would that be like? Well, we could do that. Let me just show you really quickly. I'm going to go to the mixer in Adobe Audition. Here's the master output, but here's the track itself. What I can do is say, hey, make a bus. Send this bus to output seven, which will include eight. Nice. It's up at full. It's going to seven now. You'll see it's going there. Super awesome. Let's hit play and see if it's working over here. And there it is. And because I have, <laughs> because I have the headphones out three and four, which is headphones two, going to seven and eight, they will hear this and I can control this mix separately to them. In fact, this becomes a headphone master. And if I want to turn down the overall mix, like, oh, it's too loud, everything, I can do that. If they want more track, I can do that here. I can pan if I want to the track. Look at this. All left channel, all right channel. And I can take other microphones, right? Do the same thing or any other channel and give them their individual mix in the same fashion. So this is why routing, routing in the Discovery app is so important. And this is just a simple example. We're about to get into some more complicated examples in a different tutorial on how you do input monitoring in Adobe Audition without recording. For example, talkback. How do you do talk back in Adobe Audition without having to record the channel? You can't unless you have the Mark of the Unicorn Discovery app and it's connected to one of their new AVP interfaces. More on that later. If you want to find out more about how this works, how the, uh, the this whole uh, matrix works, get in touch with us on cinemasound.com at the forum or on the blog. And until then, we'll see you in post. Even if you're